joined by Bethany Shadburn. Hi. She is a CrossFit Games athlete. Really cool. What was that like? Oh my gosh, it was crazy. It yeah. was fun though. Yeah. Exciting. She lifts all the weights. All she's the weights. Super strong. All of them. All of them. All the time. <laughs> and she's gonna cook today. So, do you think that you're a confident cook? Do you feel good? No. No. <laughs> no. It's embarrassingly cook. bad. Oh no. Well, we're gonna help change that. That's why she's here. Yep. She's gonna learn how to cook. I need help. So I'm gonna coach her through that, and I'm gonna coach you guys through it, like we always do. Uh, today's one, well, today's recipe we're gonna be cooking has a really easy sauce with it, which is really okay. lovely. We like doing that a lot because if you can just sort of combine a couple of ingredients and let them kind of simmer down and get nice and... Uh, so that it's all moist and exactly. it's good. Yes. And that way you can combine it with like really easy to cook chicken because chicken yeah. can be dry. Let's, yeah. I, mean, you know, I don't like real. chicken all the time. So we add a sauce to it, makes it a lot better. The recipe also has roasted asparagus. I love roasted veggies. I love roasted veggies a lot. Roasted veggies are the way to go. Yeah. If you're not roasting your veggies, you're like totally missing out. You're lame. <laughs> totally. So we're gonna roast some asparagus, put those on there, and we're gonna see how quick this recipe comes together. Okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let's get cooking. We're gonna heat the oven to 425 and line a baking sheet in foil. Spread the asparagus out on the foil line sheet, drizzle with avocado oil, and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place these berries in the oven for 20 minutes or until cooked to your liking. If you want it to go a little longer, you can. While the oven is heating up, you're gonna combine the balsamic vinegar, cherries, and a little cayenne pepper together uh -oh. <laughs> in a small saucepan over a medium high flame. Once the sauce has come to a boil, reduce the heat to a simmer and just keep it on low until you're ready to use it. And you actually kinda want it to reduce by half, so you want it to get nice and thick and syrupy. Really yummy. While that sauce is reducing, heat a little oil in a pan over medium-high heat. Then place the chicken tenders in the pan and season with a little salt. You're gonna cook the tenders for about five minutes per side. You're gonna, you'll flip them over then, of course. Five minutes on one side, flip over another five minutes. Then turn off the heat. Once the sauce is reduced and the asparagus are done roasting to your liking, you're gonna arrange the chicken on a plate, drizzle with some of that sauce, put some asparagus on the side, and let's eat. Hmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That is good with that. Yep. I totally killed that. Yeah. Sounds good. 